Greetings viewers and welcome back. Today's video is going to be a little bit of a different style. It's going to be a bridge video shooting this on my phone. I'm going to do a compression test and most likely a leak down test on this 2005 STI, the 180,000 mile one. Got the cold air intake off of this side. That's basically all I need to get out of the way to access the coil packs and the spark plugs. I did find this. So someone has been in here and replaced the rocker cover gasket on the passenger side because here is a rear cam half moon seal just chilling uh, over here on top of the fender well. So over on the driver's side the battery's removed, washer jugs removed, and there's our access to the plugs and cold packs. Of course we'll be putting the start, uh, battery back in to run the starter for the compression test. Got to pull the intercooler so it can pin the throttle body open as well for the test. All right, so we've got the intercooler off now, and then uh, we spilled quite a bit of oil out of the intercooler. There was quite a bit in the inlet of the turbo, or the outlet of the turbo here, and in the throttle body. We got the coil packs out and the spark plugs out. I have figured out why cylinder three was missing. Got a little sick when I saw this, but. Someone put Autolite spark plugs in this STI. People never put Autolites in anything. That's number one. Here is number three. I don't even know how it was firing. That is horrible. So, other development. This thing has crappy aftermarket coils on this bank alone. The left side bank has the factory diamond coils. So most likely after the compression test we will be putting a nice set of NGKs back in this car and throwing these auto lights in the garbage where they belong. Alright so we've got our first cylinder tested 132 PSI on cylinder number two. Sorry, I didn't show you on video. It's a little hard to hold the throttle open and push the starter button and the camera, which is my phone, at the same time. So, just for a demo. Basically got the same reading, even without pinning the throttle open. So, I'm going to go around and repeat this on the other three cylinders. After we're done with that, probably going to do a cylinder leak down test just to see if there's anything out of the ordinary, uh, especially if we get a cylinder that's got low compression. Keeping my eye on cylinder number three. And 127 PSI out of cylinder number four. One thirty nine from cylinder one. And we have 137 PSI on cylinder number three, which is surprising. I thought it might be low, but it looks like the plug was just the issue there. So we're probably going to do a leakage test on four and see if there's any kind of mechanical issue there. Uh, apparently there's going to be because it's a lot lower than everybody else. Well, not lower than everybody else on whole. Two was kind of low too compared to one and three. So. See if we can find anything else from the leak down test. <clears throat> Alright, on to the cylinder leakage test. We're on cylinder number three. We've got a 5% leakage. We've got a bit coming out of the intake valves. And the majority of which coming by the rings into the crankcase. I'm not sure exactly how well the sound is going to pick up on the phone, but you can definitely hear it hissing out of the oil filler and the intake. All right, onto cylinder number one. And putting 100 psi, holding about 96. Only hearing a slight bit of air escaping from the oil filler, so the rings again. Nothing in the intake. Nothing. There's also no issues with valves. And we have no bubbling in the overflow, so no head gasket issue. And 
and on to focus cylinder one hundred going in about ninety four holding again majority of it heard at the oil filler so slipping past the rings all right guys and on to the last but not least our problem child cylinder number four hundred going in only holding about 88 psi a lot of air escaping through the crankcase nothing for the intake or exhaust so this is our red flag I'm gonna take the compression tester out run the borescope in there see if I see any uh, thing that doesn't look great see uh, what's going on in there but most likely with 180,000 miles with this readings on cylinder four probably gonna advise short block replacement on this car and a full engine rebuild reseal from the short block so we've got everything cleaned up on the 2005 STI now looking a lot nicer and cleaner under the hood uh, judging from the numbers I showed earlier as I said I would probably advise short block replacement uh, it's nothing crucial or critical at the moment. The car still runs fairly decently, uh, makes good power, haven't really noticed any major drivability concerns. So being the car is basically stock and in stock uh, configuration for a daily driver, I really wouldn't recommend to go ahead and immediately replace that short block. If problems arise later on, I would definitely point the finger at number four as we see it's lower compression and has more leakage in the other three cylinders at the moment but just as a daily driver there's no reason to rush right out and replace this engine I know it's got 180,000 some odd miles on it but it's still got plenty of life left in it as long as it's not abused and beaten on so that said we'll round out the video here a little bit of a short video, a little bit of odd video since it was filmed on my phone, not with my normal camera equipment. But uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.